Hi guys, this is lesson number 26 from our Coral Raw training course series. As you can see in my screen, I have very beautiful and realistic neon lighting effect. This is what we are going to do in Coral Draw. Here we have a background. You can download any background like this from the Google and you can practice this lesson. This effect you can apply on the image background or you can apply in gradient color. But if you will choose image that will look more realistic. So that's why I use an image here. Let's see how it's done. We'll go to the pick tool and I will move that things. All right. Let's import that image. File, import, and here I have that file. I will just click and drag to place with the page size this way. And uh, as you can see that it is uh, really bright. Here we have dark vignette effect around uh, a picture, around image. This is what also we will do in Coral Draw. So the image is here. I can fit with screen. The first thing, I am going to apply the glow here, the way we have at the back of the text. So for that thing, we will draw a simple oval shape here. This way. Okay. And uh, as you can see that here, you will observe that I have two uh, color palettes you can see that if i will bring my mouse here you will see that it shows rgb and this side it shows cmyk so how to bring that color palette here you can go to the windows and here we have color palettes you can see that here we have uh, cmyk and rgb is checked okay if i will uncheck this you see that there is no palette here for rgb we really need to uh, bring RGB color because uh, RGB color, they are shining and bright color that's used for the web and desktop presentation. CMYK color that is used for printing purpose. So we really need to use RGB in our coming lesson. We will talk more in depth about CMYK, RGB and Pentoon. But uh, right now I am going to open just uh, RGB palette. I will go to the window, color palettes, RGB. Okay. So now another palette is open and you can make the comparison in the colors you can see that rgb blue is brighter than the cmyk here we have sky blue color this is bright coming from rgb and this is from cmyk rgb colors are fluorescent and shining colors okay that we can use for this type of effect i am going to fill rgb color in this uh, oval while it is selected i can click on any bright color let's say cyan we have here i will fill it we can see through this object because previously I apply transparency so we can make it none. So it is solid. So bring it here. We can remove outline. Right click here. We don't have any outline around. So first thing what we need to do, we need to convert this shape into image and then we can apply blurred effect. Okay. Actually we are going to achieve the glow here. So what we will do first, we'll go to the bitmap and convert to bitmap. Once I will convert to bitmap, make sure that here RGB color is checked. If you will select here CMYK, it will not give you bright result and the shape. So you really need to check RGB before you convert into bitmap. Resolution 300 is OK and then you can click OK. Now if I will zoom this shape, you will see that we have here blurry edge. You can see that it's not really sharp and smooth because it is an image now. So once your shape is converted into bitmap, you will be able to apply the blur effect. So while it is selected, I will go to the bitmap once again. And as you can see here down, we have blur and apply Gaussian blur. Okay. The second option from here, you can just click it and look at this. Now it is giving a glow around and here is the amount, radius amount you can increase and reduce. Oh, that's nice. But I will reduce a little bit, maybe that is enough okay it shows the preview here and then click ok and here we have a glow little bit i will increase the size the glow it should be transparent so for that thing that result we can achieve by using opacity okay so we'll go to the opacity here all what we have to do we need to change the mode of the opacity here to add look at this once i click on add you can see the transparency from the image and it give a little bit more realistic look so here another thing we can do 
we can also increase and reduce we can control the lighting also okay so how to do go to the opacity and if you want you can click on this button here uniform transparency okay and now it's dim because 50 percent is by default applied so i'm going to reduce as much you want you can uh, do that so i think uh, that is uh, enough so the next thing we need to create text we need to type text and the font uh, you need to choose any font you can choose but it is a good idea to choose some stylish font or having roundness in the corner so it look more realistic so i'm going to click on text tool and type text here let's type our name our channel name we can increase the font size go to the pick tool and choose the font in my computer you can see that i have this font here harlow but uh, any similar font you can stylish font you can apply for practice purpose i will apply this font and you can see that it is having round corner that's pretty nice so what we will do now here you can see the size it is okay i think it is fine we can increase a little bit the glow hold it from the corner press shift key and just expand it and here we have a black text the first thing we need to apply the same color that we have in the glow and secondly we will apply stroke we will apply outline uh, we are not going to apply outline the way we have done with the shapes we will change little bit property of the outline so how to do that let me move it here so it will be clear for you for the shape once i will click here and draw a circular shape or any shape you can see that directly look at this any size i can apply but for the text it is uh, quite different once i will select the text you can see that directly it doesn't appear here so what we need to do for the text you will go to the pen here at the bottom you can see that there is a pen uh, double click on this pen here double click and you will see this panel outline pen dialog box it's open and here we can apply outline for the text so here i will select first i will choose maybe eight okay or maybe four and uh, corner i want round corner for this line line cap also i will choose here the second option round cap and here we have position what is the position you can see that on the screen in the first option the outline it will be outside of the text edges here the outline it will remain in the middle and in the last option the outline it will be inside the text so what we need to do we need to select this option okay we need outside position for the outline because we don't want to disturb our text inside so select this okay and click ok so you can see that outline is applied we apply four I think we can add maybe eight okay so that's fine and I will choose the color here same color we have text press plus key keep it here because we need to use once again we can reduce the outline let's say make it only two okay that's fine now this text I have outlined eight we need to apply again blur effect in that text so the first thing we need to convert this text into a bitmap convert to bitmap okay color mode is rgb and 300 resolution it's okay click okay now this text is an image so go back again to the bitmap and apply here blur gaussian blur but this time i think we are not going to apply this much before we have shape so we need to reduce the amount here okay that is fine and then click ok so here we have now we need to bring it here in the middle this text and here we have the real text we will just bring it at the top of that and we will change the color to white and look at this top of that and you can see that this how this beautiful effect we got but another thing it doesn't look really realistic much because our texture our image around is bright okay so what we can do we can apply here dark vignette effect to our image as you can see here look at this around is dark you can achieve that result by using transparency so let's see how it's done i will just create one shape here rectangular shape okay I will fill with the color black okay 
once it is filled with the black go to the transparency here okay and apply transparency click and drag just click and drag for a moment what we need to do here we will uh, change the mode to radial look at this now this is how we have from here we can expand this way let's uh, make it more wider okay and uh, I think it is enough from this slider also we can bring it back and uh, here we have now another thing because this transparency effect that we apply on the rectangular shape it is in front of the text okay so it is not glowing really the way it should be so what we need to do we need to carefully select this way don't bring this texture and uh, rectangular shape inside your selection select this way look at this my selection from up I did not bring in my selection the texture and uh, rectangular shape so this way if I will select only the text and oval shape that we use for the glow is selected look at this so I will bring them in the front I will go to the object order to front of the page and you can see now it's really glow let's go to the zoom tool and observe our effect beautiful so this is how we apply dark vignette we achieve this result by transparency and we have beautiful and realistic neon effect in coral draw guys i hope you enjoy this lesson try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you